Warning, this show contains spoilers. We're calling it the Idiot Hour. Blue Skadoot, I'll stay right here and play clarinet. We'll get into all that in a future episode. Welcome back to a wonderful, wonderful episode of the Idiot Hour. Um, this week, we obviously have different people than we had last week, which is different people than the week before. But with me, as always, um, sponsored by Thoughts of the Bench, is my friend and the camera guy, Josh. Josh, how you doing today, buddy? Welcome, everybody. I think we're all going to really enjoy today's topic. Yeah. I hope so. Because with me as well. <laughs> uh, I mean, I really do hope you enjoy the content. Hey, everybody that joined so far. With me, um, because we needed fill-ins, and because they, uh, I was like, going to play a noise, is uh, Zach Fisher, friend of the bench. Fish, how you doing? What's up, idiots? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my brother, Nico. Nico, thank you. I know it was a long way yeah. to get to you. It's tough. Yeah. Um, he lives two doors down. One door. I live two doors. In the hallway. In the hallway, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I have the bathroom in the attic. So three doors down on the right. Uh, look at this monkey crew. What's up? Dennis, Austin, Chipper, Anastasia, Mom. Mom. And Nico, who's watching. Thanks, Denny. Uh, but no, guys, we've got another wonderful episode of The Idiot Hour. If you haven't seen, obviously, the two episodes we've done so far are Nickelodeon vs. Cartoon Network, as well as Star Wars. Thank you all for voting me as the best drafts, clearly, on both of those. There wasn't much competition when we took the Twitter, right, Without Josh? Doubt. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's called the Idiot Hour. All right. Hello? Hello. <coughs> well, thank you. Make sure Sorry, you can speak everybody. Into the logo. We're, using, uh, we're using some new technology today, so I'm trying to still figure out some We're using stuff. Max Boards. Yeah, it's pretty um, sick. I think we, Denny, do we sound better than normal? Do we sound sick? Yeah, yeah, I think we, we probably sound, sound good. Do I sound good? Welcome to ASMR. This is your host. <laughs> Shit. All right, Josh, what are we doing tonight on the idiot hour? All right, everybody loves it. Ask the internet. These are the most burning questions that I was able to find on Reddit's Ask the Internet page. Oh, Ooh, so nice. The first, that is the internet. This, this, is, right, <laughs> this is the first one. Which animal would you most like to pet? And just to be clear to everyone, as is tradition here on the Idiot Hour, we do not know the topics beforehand. Josh no. does because he makes everything. But the only thing we know uh, for time purposes, which are we implementing the brand new thing into the draft tonight? Yeah, okay. I think everybody had time to research. Oh. I think it'll yep. be all right. So we, the thing. only thing we know, thank you, Ty. You sound great. Uh, Adam and Sarah, thank you for joining. But I love this topic. Yeah, I just said, like, we had this, this is, topic as an original, like, maybe pitch in the first 88 hour conversation. Completely forgot about it. My answer then was trash, so I'm excited for this one. <laughs> redemption. Revenge. There you go. Lot of redemption. <laughs> I mean, whoever, just jump in there, boys. There's no, Fish, go ahead. no order here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that the koala bear has got to be up there. That just by sight alone Ooh. looks like one of the snuggliest things yeah. that. That's an interesting take. Is naturally occurring. And they probably really need hugs right now, too. They probably so. need hugs, yeah. Wow. We're just going to get that dark right <laughs> off the bat. <laughs> Venmo is open. Uh, for every $100 I get, I will send $20 to Australia. So let's That's a pretty that. good ratio. Specifically, the koalas. That's not yeah, bad at all. Yeah. Okay. Venmo, Derek. You what's, what's your Venmo handle? Uh, D-E-K-E white. <laughs> <laughs> or Derek hyphen white. There you go. Um, so a koala. That was, yeah. I mean, they're cuddly as fuck. Would, would you say that's a bad? No, 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 no. no, no. It's okay. different than I was thinking. And it's like slow moving, so like it, it can't get away from you. Uh, do you? Want, right. Are we supposed to risk our lives to pet these animals? <laughs> <laughs> it's not required, <laughs> but it's recommended. I think it's. I think the uh, the heart of the question is like. A shark, or That's, you know. Okay, so I, I was the first answer that came to mind when we first pitched it was sorry if I took anybody's a porcupine because you shouldn't be able to pet. Oh. That's where originally well, I was I, like, what I'd animal? Okay, just not smart. So to when pet you that. said koala bear, I was like, 
<laughs> wait, wait a minute. My mind did not go to vicious. I went to what what is more no, naturally like soft I'm, looking. I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat. I was going with panda bear. Okay, panda bear. A Thank you. Vicious. A little more. A little more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like you could pet a panda bear, but also not like a wild panda bear, right? Because that would fuck you up. Two, yeah, two bears. It's still a bear. Right, right, right. could be me. You never know. I think they are me. I don't know a lot about it. Did them. you ever see? There was like a video that came out a while ago on the internet of like a a koala like outside a window like trying to scare a human. That's fake. Oh, uh, it was. Real. <laughs> I watched it on the yeah. internet. So. You're up. I don't, all right. Like now what, my what's your new and improved kinda, answer? <laughs> my answer sounds kind of dumb. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna. I want to pet a jellyfish. Not a bad answer. I, 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 I like know what it feels like. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Without okay. being stung. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know, like, and I want to be able to poke it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I not know, just pet it. Yeah, yeah. Pet, but like, yeah. Oh, yeah. is it is it firm? Does my finger go inside, or does it push the skin <laughs> That's in? That's what she said. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it has the same water consistency of a watermelon. Yeah. Didn't know that. I don't know why I said yeah. But like, <laughs> <laughs> but like, I want to, I want to, like, I want to touch it. Can you please make sure your logo's facing you? Because I can hear you through all of our other mics. <laughs> it's also just really loud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> turn down to their mic so you don't hear it. It's you. like, you guys sound great, and then I hear just here, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is the third thing I've had to do today for this stupid website. So Absolutely. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, mine, I would really like to pet an extinct animal. Okay. Oh, good take. Yeah. The okay. dodo bird. Oh, terrible take. You were, <laughs> you were, you were Revert. Right there. You were I mean, right like, there. I mean... I would, as, I would assume I would know what a dinosaur feels like when you pet it, because I've had reptiles yeah. and that kind of thing. Not very but dangerous. Like, right. How many birds have you pet? Uh, I'm trying to think, because I don't, like, I don't... Have you ever pet, like, an emu, or...? No. Oh, uh, ostrich? No. Mm. The bat. We pet birds at, like, cool. the zoo when they bring an owl down. Peacocks. I remember this one jag off, dude. We went to the zoo... And this guy had an owl, and it was, like, this big. And he was like, yeah, it's, like, seven years old. And I was like, well, it can get much bigger. He goes, uh, it's seven? And I didn't know what the fuck that meant, because I was 11. And I was going to get bigger. And I couldn't talk for that. Because I was 11. Yes. Why did he talk to you like an idiot? Condescending. <laughs> Condescending apple. I was so fresh. <laughs> However, what? you could take that the other way, too, because birds do sometimes live a long time. Like, parrots can live 80 years old. <laughs> Chipper says Derek is like Patrick touching a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Bo? How's yeah. it going? Shut up. All right. We're ready to move on? Why am I the only one my arms are showing? I feel so Because you're the only one with your arms up. No, but like if I even go like that. I've tied my arms, so arms behind my back. I'm so sorry. Hang on. You don't have to fix it. Just keep going. The show must go on. I, well, I can well, fix it, I think. Well, speaking I'll of work on extinct it. animals, uh, maybe a woolly mammoth. Yeah, can we talk about uh, – Yeah. Real yeah, quick. Do it. Okay, do it. Uh, giant, like T Rex. I know it's gonna be leathery, but just to say, is there any just animal that's cooler to say? You hey thought? yo, I petted a T Rex. Did you? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you were. That's, no, that's your take. I was like, okay, Nico. I was like, you petted T Rex. That's what I thought he said. That's crazy, man. <laughs> uh, another one I think that would be cool would be the fish with the thing. Ang oh, angler, 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 angler fish. fish. Just the. Touch his light. Things look terrifying. Is it hot? That's a good, that's a good great question. Because <laughs> lightning bugs aren't hot. You're right. It's, yeah. I mean, why not? That, that would be a good one. There's, a, I mean, I feel like a lot of fish just because... You're a beautiful what human. Do we, I'm Which trying. It's fine if it needs to be. Just be careful that because it looks like you're wearing a Too Beard Deep shirt. And yeah, it does. Like <laughs> no does. free ads, Too no Beard Deep. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No free ads our own show. shit. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And there is no volume? What? What? I don't know. Everyone else can hear us, Mike. God dang, send me. Wait just a minute. All right, keep rolling. Okay, all right. Um, what is the pineapple pizza debate for uh, other foods? So, like, people say pineapple does not belong on pizza, mm, right? Yeah. What's that? 
for something that's not pizza. Weird one? I mean, you have your basic, which is like ketchup on steak and exactly egg, yeah. ketchup well, on I eggs. Say ketchup on hot dog has been a recent issue that's wild. with hot dog what? connoisseurs. It's so hot dog purists. Well, yeah, like a Chicago dog doesn't have. Doesn't they're have any. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't have any. Um, that was a weird one for me, man. I, it's, I, also, it's a big <laughs> Pittsburgh thing. What? What? Michael wants uh, to know where scrawny guy is. Uh, uh, so, okay, I just want to. So okay, guys, sir, that's Greg. How dare you? Uh, that is Nico. If you guys would watch the beginning of the damn show, it starts oh, today. Shit, that's funny. Second off, scrawny guy, just because he looks like it, is not an IT tech guy. <clears throat> I'm sorry to disappoint you, Colorado. <laughs> uh, oh, shit, that's funny. I would say, um, rolling off a pineapple, fruit on a salad, keep that shit off. Even like little a, orange slices? I no, like apples in a not, chicken, apple, walnut salad. No, raisins. Get it away from me. S- strawberries. Really? Man- mandarin chicken? Like mandarin Raisins seeds? are like craisins. Uh, yeah, oh, like dehydrated fruit kind of. Line. See, I like apples in like Waldorf salads and stuff. Eden Park like, got a strawberry salad that's chicken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't eat it. Not, I get that. Not my, not my get your healthy salad. out of my healthy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One healthy thing at a time. Come on. <laughs> I recently saw, back onto the pizza, I saw somebody put kiwi on a pizza instead of pineapple, and I thought that was a little weird. See, I, don't, I love pineapple on pizza. I do, too. I'm sorry that your taste buds can't do sweet and savory, you basic bitch. I love pineapple. I mean, you put oh, the ham okay. with it, it's, it becomes a whole meal. Now I don't even get a camera. Oh, Can they see no. the fly Hey, <laughs> hey guys, thing? I'm on two. <laughs> uh, okay. Star so, of the show. So Facebook Nico. can't see this, so we have to pretend it's not happening. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, look alive. Uh, well, you know. No, Facebook can definitely can see what I'm doing right now. Can it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, we're idiots. All right. Uh, Again, show I don't appropriately have named. I, you don't uh, have it? No, I, dude, I'll eat anything on anything. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, but what are, I mean, what, like, there's a lot of cliches. Ooh. Yeah. You know, you don't speaking, have to put your of, hand up. speaking of ketchup, <laughs> I just got excited for it now. Jeez. Uh, uh, I, I knew people that would dip their popcorn in ketchup. Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm. That's a no. So, that's a no. I mean, it, it's a condiment, you can. On so this, speaking of on the same yeah. line, a Mr. Robot yeah. he takes the M and M's and dumps them into the popcorn, and that blew my mind. Chocolate popcorn, chocolate popcorn. You know? that's that's Good. awesome. You never had yeah. like gourmet popcorn? Well, yeah, but like not with like he just took M and M's and dumped it in a bag. Uh, like, have you oh. had uh, cheddar cheese and caramel popcorn? Is that mm-hmm. called like Chicago or something? Yeah, I Chicago mean, style yeah, popcorn. That, it, I was sketchy about that at first, and then I'm I was like, nope, I've eaten it like six times, and I'm still sketchy. You still like every time you're like every time I eat it, I'm like, this is so. I shouldn't like this. Good, not bad. Yeah, I I really like. I think the one thing about food that really upsets me is buttermilk ranch. I hate that it makes you fat. Buttermilk ranch is fucked. Like, it does not taste I good. Do. Like, regular ranch <laughs> is great. Like, ranch that's like the okay. seasoning I with like Greek yeah. yogurt, that's amazing. But buttermilk ranch? Love it. No. I know what is that, is that like good. the Hidden Valley Garbage. buttermilk ranch? Yeah. Okay. Fish, my mom wants to know if you've ever tried fruit on a salad. Oh, many times. I have given it <laughs> an appropriate <laughs> amount of chances. There's no better follow-up question. never been good. I like no the question. better follow-up I'm question glad. to an argument than, yeah, but have you seen it? But have you tried <laughs> <not even laughs> it? Like, dude, I hate Fair the Star Wars, question. but did Fair you watch <laughs> the new Star Wars? <laughs> I, don't I like that I she don't assumed worry. that Fish has probably never had fruit. <laughs> <laughs> not a bad assumption. All right, next question. Good. What is the worst way you have ever spent money? Marsha, you may want to tune out now. This is going to be brutal. Uh, I This one's easy, actually, for me. I bought a Crazer from Japan that never worked, and I spent, like, $250 on it. got it off eBay. That sucks. And it came with, like, a charger because it said, like, and maybe I messed it up, but it said, like, that it because it was dead for so long, it needed this supercharger, which I, is, like, dumb. Now that I think about it, <laughs> <laughs> You're like I got took there. Yeah, but I was so excited, but I, like I just bought it straight up, and uh, maybe it was like a buck fifty or two hundred, but that was a lot for me. I was like, it was like a sophomore in high school. That sucked. Yeah. Oh, man, that, it's that's a that's a good question. I mean, the I would say what going to a specific time. Shout out uh, 
Joe Hammer Square, but it was before you moved into into the space. Um, yeah. Obviously, back then, didn't have a whole lot of money anyway. Yeah, yeah. And decided when I, I guess, had a good day at work or something, uh, when I initially started working at Six Pen, like, I want to I want to spend some money. So I decided to buy a skateboard, of all things. Can you skateboard? No. Okay. I, and I don't think I used that skateboard. <laughs> How dare you ask him? Look at Once. his hair. <laughs> Your surfboard's different. <laughs> I just never used it. And <laughs> it was maybe, like... 30 bucks, but I, at most, but okay. still. Yeah. That's amazing. Uh, Anastasia says a banana mayo sandwich. Yeah, I don't, I don't Ooh, know if there's Is that mayo. a thing? I guess. Or Why? she's just trolling. Dennis she's says for me, Deke's cleats because he'll never wear them. Yeah. <laughs> ah. it's, it's winter for one and two. Pew, pew. I think Dennis plays pew, inside. Pew, pew. He does, fun. but the next thing I was going to say, and two, you've been playing your, a long time and I quit and I'm still better than you, Dennis, by a long way. Suck it, okay, Nico. So most recent thing that I spent money on that I really regret, I got the new Call of Duty Season Battle Pass because I had a couple beers one night and my friend was like, "It's great," and it's just a trash can of a battle pass. I'm really trash. sorry. It's okay. I'm it really wasn't all that much, but I felt really bad about it. Right, 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 right. I, I, I feel very comfortable telling you guys this story. Which strip club? No. <laughs> this, I'm excited. This goes way back. This I'm goes excited. way back. So KB Toys. Marcia, please talk. I'm in KB again. Toys. Sit, don't go it's, it's my birthday. <laughs> and I've got Payment picture right 20 here. hot dollars in my hands. Okay? Goodness. So I'm walking through KB Toys, and this is at the peak of uh, Tech Dex. Okay. Kay? Yeah. And there's a, a half pipe Tech Deck, <laughs> right? So I'm like, that's it. So I'm getting for my birthday. Like, I like tech decks. Like, this is what I'm doing, right? I'll be the coolest kid at school. I buy the tech deck. And as I'm walking out, I walk by FYE. And right there in the window, I see Destiny's Child debut album. And I look down. You shouldn't have felt comfortable. I look down (laughs) at the tech deck. (laughs) And I turned around. And I went back into the store. And I said, I don't want this. Give me my money back. (laughs) And then I walked over to the FYE and I spent twenty dollars on that Destiny Child CD. It was twenty dollars. Why'd you make your twenty bucks? Deep and cool. Welcome to the Idiot Hour. Bad story. (laughs) So I think the the moral of the story is I did not spend the twenty dollars well either time. (laughs) Well, it was bad both times. Did people think you were cool for it though? I didn't, tell anybody, he didn't, he didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell anybody. Yeah, no. <laughs> he didn't even think he was cool. No, 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 was it no, the no. CD with I'm a survivor and all those Apparently, call the police. Apparently the banana mayo sandwich is a real thing. Yeah, that uh, I, I don't want to click it now, but I guarantee that's not a good sandwich. And I trust Anastasia's opinion a lot. Okay. Has she eaten it? Junior. Has oh, she? I don't know. Anastasia, have you eaten it? Respond Ooh, in the chat. In five minutes. <laughs> all right. Has um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Are we good with this question? Yeah, well, Everybody, yeah. all right, all right. Next one. What is something you hate for no <laughs> reason? Can I say happy people? <laughs> <laughs> I think absolutely. <laughs> like man, like there's these people at work that they, and it's not even happy people, but like they think that everything. I just, I can't even describe it. Oh my God! They're what, like, like oh my nothing's God. actually making them happy. They're no. just happy to do it. Yeah, man, they're just happy all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't stand it. I don't know why. Fuck okay, <laughs> positivity. Life is hard. <laughs> Coming to work crying one day. All right. Be miserable. Yeah, and like not it's like not I hate hard. when you're happy or I'm happy. I'm happy when everyone's happy because it means you're happy. But you can't yeah. fabricate that shit, man. It makes me so mad. So bad. <laughs> Come crying one time. Oh. <laughs> uh, the song "Sweet Caroline." Oh, uh, that's uh, understandable. Uh, actually, it's more understandable than mine. Despise that song. <laughs> and yeah. it, it all—I feel like it honestly all started because this one vacation we were at Myrtle Beach, and Derek sang it for six days straight, all day. So, like, there's a little backstory to it, Uh-oh. but that's other Ooh. than that, there's really no reason. I think Derek's trying to remember yeah. this moment. <laughs> Paint a picture. Mom, do you remember this moment? 
Okay, right. you know who it was? Four minute delay. Marsha! <laughs> We're waiting on you. Come on! <laughs> Get it together! Um, no. Uh, I think the Go thing that, that makes me, that I hate the most, and Fish and I were talking about it in the car right here, is Tom Hanks. Yes, that's Oh, yeah. Name. Like, as an actor or just as a person? The fact that Tom Hanks exists pisses me off <laughs> to no extent. Oh, uh, you hate Tom Hanks. It wasn't I'll, a certain I'll, movie. I'll piggyback off of him. Just, like, people, for me, to go more, like, personal, I guess, or whatever, uh, or more general, rather, uh, it's just, like, people that just somehow just instantly have success. Like, right. whatever they do is successful. It's oh, just yeah. like, oh, I hate you. Shut like, up, I love Jared you, Leto. But I hate yeah, you. Jared Leto, too, Sucks. pisses me off. He's so attractive. <laughs> you can't be an actor, handsome, and a leader of a rock I band. Love right? yeah. He has a Grammy good. and an Oscar. I love 30 oh, Seconds. What a dick. Yeah, oh, but so, man. like, Tom Hanks, right? Yeah. Has five children. Has never had like a scratch on his record of being like an asshole. Played Mr. Rogers. He has all of the Oscars. Played Mr. Yeah. Rogers. Every single one of his movies is a hit. Like he's been happily married for like thirty years. Like fuck Tom. Do you also okay. have Steve Carell? He does. So because he fits the same category. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I hate guys that don't cheat on their wives in the public knowledge. Like, like you're in Hollywood. Like so. why aren't you doing cocaine off a stripper's ass or something, man? Like I need <laughs> you to do something bad. I've never heard a voice crack on stripper's ass. <laughs> well. <laughs> All, right. All right. Did my mom answer? No. Hang on. Happy oh, no. Oh, Whoa. Uh, I remember it playing everywhere we went. Yeah, that's yeah, true so, too. Okay. Song Maybe that's why you were singing it. Crazy then. Yeah. too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's, <laughs> that's Nicolas Cage. That is Nicolas Cage, Denny. Uh, let's, let's be reasonable. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Next one. Dumbledore versus Gandalf. Who, Who would win? Yeah. Oh. Straight up fight. Gandalf the gray or Gandalf the white? Ooh, this is a good question. I don't think it matters. I, I do. I think Dumbledore would beat Gandalf the gray. I think Gandalf the White would be. What Dumbledore. did Gandalf the White do magically? He's dead. Did you see him <laughs> chase off? That's magic. <laughs> Here's what I'm saying: the strong and like maybe it's it's between him and, and Grindelwald, obviously, but the strongest wizard in that universe did not do things because he was scared of Dumbledore's power, and Dumbledore was like six trillion years old. That's like not true. Dumbledore's ability to do his magic, even yeah. though like Gandalf, I don't. Think but he had the Elder Wand. Wasn't that Gandalf's wand? Oh, 100%. But you That's the strongest wand. But why did it crack with Voldemort? It, it cracks with people. Like, and, and there's a logical reason to it, but at the end of the day, Dumbledore is the strongest wizard in the history. Like, he's better than Merlin in that storyline. Like, Gandalf, there's nothing knocking him, but like, he doesn't do that much magic. Gandalf? He called the birds. No, he does a lot. He scares off all the Nazgul. Scares them. Yeah. Dumbledore probably would kill them. Well... Would Dumbledore have used the killing curse, though? No, he's not allowed. Oh. Gandalf definitely uses the killing curse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> well, 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 but he, Boom, he Gandalf wins. Yeah. Gandalf doesn't know it. True. No, but... He's not a good wizard. But he's a great wizard. Or is he Is he before the killing curse was invented? Because Gandalf's in Middle-earth, Harry Potter's current time. I There is not... I don't know. There's just nothing about Gandalf that... Uh, makes me think he's more powerful than Dumbledore. I want to see Dumbledore fight a Balrog. He would win. He fought Voldemort. What do you mean? I'd like to see Voldemort fight a Balrog. Dumbledore. <laughs> Dumbledore beat Grindelwald. D- Gandalf is, is stronger than Voldemort. In the world of Middle-earth, Gandalf is basically a demigod. He comes I, from the gods. He died. He came back. Okay, but he did die. Let's clarify that. He never technically died. Died. He's an entity. He's. Like a, it's not just a person. Well, that's why he barely remembered himself. It, so I'm going from gray to white. A spirit should have more power. Well, I think when Dumbledore died, he didn't come back. Because he didn't have to. His time was done. He kind of did. He lived forever. It, it, it was, he, he did like a little bit, not like all the that way was, back. That like was just hey, Harry's consciousness. Eagles, I'm killing that everything. was just Harry's consciousness. Well, apologies for Harry having a little stronger mental capacity than Frodo. Well, like Jesus. I, well, Lord. it doesn't say Frodo versus <laughs> Harry. <laughs> that's a different story. Here. Sam Wilbur's Ron. It's right there. Oh, man. now that's a bar fight I'd watch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going Team Dumbledore. I'm. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. All right. I Ooh, think. Dude. I think. Pardon, the one pardon, thing... pardon me, guys. Oh, sorry, fish. Sorry, oh, damn, Dal. Fish, can you pound my fist? Oh, there you go. Oh, no, you're, you're there... 
Get in your square, bitch. Yeah, that, you, celebrity squares left and right. Yeah. I think the one thing, you know, you bring up like the Balrog. I bet Gandalf or Dumbledore definitely messed with some creatures that were similar to the Balrog. Like, That's a good point. We don't know well, what I he, would say, he was like. He definitely has fought in a dragon. But in the defense of the Balrog, that's a, that's a, an, a god, that's yes. a demigod type. Right. So it's a, I think that would be a little bigger than a dragon fight. Mm. Because it's an aware... Oh, it's wait, a, question. Yeah. So did Dumbledore <clears throat> win the cup? What? The Wizard's Cup? Oh, honey. Did you watch Harry Potter? Yeah. And I, like, Dumbledore wasn't in the Wizard's Cup. No, 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 when he was a kid. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, Do like, we know that? You want to talk I don't MVPs? know. That's what I'm wondering. You want to talk MVPs? Did Gandalf what, what does that mean? <laughs> did Gandalf win the SEC? <laughs> did he win the Dixon? I think he won the Heisman. MVPs? I think he won the Heisman. Wow. And Dumbledore is real. Gay, so we support Dumbledore in this chat. <laughs> well, all right, then. Next question. Okay, okay, next question. The Death Note Complex. Okay, yeah. so the the <laughs> idea of the show Death Note, yeah. right, is that do a lot of explain. Okay, you don't know this. <laughs> okay. I've never seen it, but I'm I know lost. what it is. Okay, so so here's here's the the concept, right? Is that um, this guy gets this book, and when he writes down a name in the book, he kills them. The demon kills them, right? Right, the demons kill them. Okay, but he's the son of the like the chief of Tokyo, so he kills bad guys. So the Death Note complex it's is like anime like Dexter, Dexter. Yeah. is killing okay, yeah. Wait, and oh, it no. works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is killing okay if it's for good? I I hope the next one is. Better That's real me. deep. <laughs> I think Dumbledore would date Gandalf. There it is. Thank you, Anastasia. You are my favorite. Um, is killing bad if it's for good? Right. Uh, I will start this off with a resounding yes. And okay. the reason is because Marvel and DC superheroes try everything in their being not to kill. And for that purpose alone, even killing for good uh, is bad. Is, is, is killing for good is wrong. Because I like Batman. It's kind of like the Punisher. Yeah. The Punisher is the only one that kills people. Yes. Basically. Don't be Batman, to quote our car ride again. But. Uh, <laughs> Always be I, I will say, always be Batman. Always be, always be, <laughs> always be Beyonce. Uh, as they say, as they call it in the industry, a tease. I'll say, I'll say, uh, war is kind of like killing for good in some ways. I mean, oh, wow. we beat the Nazis. Um, yeah. Spoiler alert! <laughs> <laughs> I said a tease. We did put a spoiler alert yeah, at the beginning of the show. Spoiler alert! We beat the Nazis. Um, I, I just said a tease in general. Yeah. So that's killing. Okay, but that is okay. Here's the difference. That is systematical combat versus. I'm assuming this demon just crawls into their bed at night. Got got out. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's I also like, like taking the, out Bin Laden or something like that. Yeah. Where you are specifically. Oh, it'd be a very someone. easy way so to if, do that. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you're saying like I got this notebook like no more Hitler. Yeah. Like not like I got this notebook. Someone robbed someone down the street. You're I mean, gone. you can. You can. You can. But, I mean, <laughs> I'm, uh, for the moral, Depending on how Batman you are. Yeah, but you could also be like, yo, that delivery guy was super late with my pizza. Mm. <laughs> he like, looked at my <laughs> wife funny. <laughs> and then you look like Ryan from the so office. So it's a slippery right? slope <laughs> is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. You get addicted to writing down names. Who knows what happens? I, uh, you write it in cursive? Is the death cooler? Well, so in Death but Note, he picks how they if die. If you misspell the name, yeah. The guy writing or the DM? Yeah, yeah, the oh, guy the okay. guy writing picks the, the day, the time, how, right. everything like that. So why does the demon help him? Is he the demon? So he has the book, right? The book. The book falls from the heavens, if you will, in light Yagami happens to get it. Uh, so it's, you know, like Harry Potter with the strongest wizard of all time, where he gets the notebook and he talks it. Yeah. I see what you did there. You're talking Tom Riddle's journal? Yeah. Josh, okay. Oh, Josh, wow. I was like, what are you Josh doing? was just like pre shadowing <laughs> yeah. the fact that we, we won that. Right. We, we won. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what Sarah said, so we'll go, we'll go off of what and Sarah Anastasia, said. Anastasia, technically. Oh, true, true, true. Uh, what's up, Skelp? <laughs> Skelp, Derek thinks it's really funny that during the pizza review, you yeah. asked me, tell yeah. me about the cheese, and I just cheese, responded man. with, this is crust well, no, is the great. Other way. He said it. Oh, he you said, said way to watch your own content, Josh. Josh said, what about the cheese? And Greg Stop goes, man, the crust is 
good, and I know that's not the cheese. And I was just like, that is the greatest answer I've ever heard. <laughs> hey, I heard your question. I know what you asked. But fuck you, man. This crust is really good. Eric Matthews Ooh. says, Derek gets the book, Every Happy Person Dies. <laughs> Yeah, Greg, I think if great they power, write it... It comes great responsibility. <laughs> oh, man. Skelp, I think if they write it in cursive with a quill, they just, like, a wizard shows up and kills them. <laughs> That's just the automatic go-to. <laughs> the default. I would but not with magic, just with fists. I would forget what that is and start doing drag wizard. <laughs> wizard. All right. That would be even worse. Uh, so we burned through those questions much faster than I thought we were going to. You have no more? Um, well, I just don't have any more graphics ready. Oh. So I'm just going to switch back to this yeah. and then ask some more questions. Okay. Okay. Um, we can see those just to warn you. Yeah, I know. You guys can see them. That's okay, fine. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'm just they you. can't see them. That's fine. Uh, um, what's your strangest bathroom habit? Uh, check the shower for gifts. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> that's, a very, that's a very new one, I think. <laughs> no, matter, no, no, no. No matter oh, since I was born, no matter if I walk into a friend's house, a cousin's house, an uncle's house, an aunt's house, a brand new house. My girlfriend's parents. Oh, house. Even if you're going to wow. pee or something. Yeah. No matter what, no matter what, I check behind the shower curtain. We've lived with a lot of ghosts. We no, not the ghosts, but when we used to be friends with a family called the Costas, there was multiple times where people would hide in the shower, and then while the other person was peeing or whatever, you punch uh, them. They, yeah, yeah, they jump out. Yeah. But I wasn't doing that anymore. What up, Chaz? I, I just wasn't about that. So I check the shower every time, and I'm ready. Okay. Bop, bop, ghost. Nico. So since moving into here, our our toilet, you have to hold the handle down and kind of jiggle it so it reseals. I do that everywhere now. Like, I'll just, like, out, out in public at restaurants, I'll just stand there and I'll hold it and I'll, like, test it. I'm like, well, what am I doing? Like, this works. That happens to me a lot. Uh, the elevators at work, you hit what floor on the outside. Yeah. So I'll go somewhere else and I'll just be oh, standing yeah. in the elevator <laughs> like a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh, what's, shit. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> you, like, you pop on your that phone. Yeah. Stop moving. You're there for stop five moving. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Like literally the one time in a parking garage, like a late, like the doors were closed, it opened, and I was just standing there, and the lady's like, "Are you getting out? Like, <laughs> What's up with are this are you gonna kill me?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have my notebook today. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so I would say, I mean, there's a couple, I guess, but, but some more general, but uh, <coughs> I guess I have to like. Before I turn on the faucet to like wash my hands, I have to like wait for the toilet to be done flushing. Really? Okay. Like, I don't know what it is of like, yeah, this this pee is gonna completely just go right into the faucet. <laughs> right on my <laughs> hand. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I just pee in my hands? It's <laughs> nothing to do with water pressure. <laughs> no, <it's> just, <laughs> I was thinking temperature, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Paranoia. I thought it was like an economy or an, ec- an economy. It's yeah. funny. <laughs> He turns, all about water. He turns the water, water on too fast. He comes out of the bathroom, shakes hands. You're like, "Oh, did you pee in your hands?" He's oh, like, "You don't even know." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it has nothing to do with temperature, for better or worse. That's a good one. Though. What's up, King Mitch? Um, all right. So my weirdest one is actually like it's a sequence. Every morning, I go downstairs and I start the shower. Okay. Like, and I leave it at the hottest temperature. Then I go feed the dog. Then I take a shit. And then I get in the shower. So the shower room has to be, like, full, full of steam, of steam uh, okay. before I, yeah, I, I ever even think about getting in the shower. There's that. also a wait time for the water to get hot, too. Right. It's not an issue. I do that at the gym because I don't pay for the water there. Oh, well, you know, Anastasia takes care of all that, so. <laughs> <laughs> and now that I just hey, stunned on me that she's oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Yeah. She's like, water's You've been had. expensive lately. <laughs> I mean, she wouldn't know the difference because I've been doing this yeah. long before we started living <laughs> together. So it's just always like that. Old strategy. Right, right, right. Um, all right, let's do another one just off the off the top here. Uh, what's one thing you've been doing wrong the whole time? Oh, man. So, like, I didn't know until, like, I had roommates that I was putting on the toilet paper the wrong way. Oh, yeah. There's not oh, a there's wrong way. No, You're fine. There's the wrong way. I, I like it. I have up over Terrorism. Time. It's not – like I'm not going to change the paper if it's the other way, but I just always do up over I'll time. silently judge. So what? People generally like it. The most population like it to the front, right? Beards are cool. Mullets are ugly. Disagree for hair. Correct for toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's funny though. Um, the whole time. There's stuff where like like the spacebar thing for iPhones. I just found that out. Yeah. yeah. And then for the calculator on your phone, if you press the back end of the number, it deletes one space. So you don't have like if you're if you're adding stuff together and you mess up one digit, everyone on the planet hits C and clears and starts over. Yeah. But if you hit the farthest left of where the digits are, it deletes one space. Oh. So didn't know that. Shout out didn't to the accounts. Know that. Yeah. Wow. Shout out to accounts. Shout out accounts. They're always good with numbers, those yeah. guys. <laughs> <laughs> it was Brett. It was, yeah. Unless you're Kevin Malone. Malone. <laughs> Colevin. <laughs> Colevin. It's a number we invented for Kevin. Anastasia says that's why the water's so high. Oh, uh, this show. She says he's still good. <laughs> I can't I think of anything off the top of my head. I know there's probably hundreds, but I'm just going to do blanket statement money management. <laughs> <laughs> Same, brother. <laughs> Can I say growing up for 300, please? (laughs) Adulting. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, you mean the app? Oh, I'll tell you one. So I didn't realize that the minimum payment on a credit card is just the interest. I didn't know that, but that kind of I paid just the interest for an entire year and did not couldn't understand why the credit card didn't go down. down? I I didn't know that. Yeah, oh yeah, dude. And Anna. I mean I, I and Anastasia was like, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, thank God I married you early. <laughs> I thought it was the dividing of all of it up to the point where you ha- had to pay, like, till your interest hit. I don't know no. why I thought banks liked us. No, yeah. it's, it's just the interest, brother. It's, well, I pay more than that. I'm, I pay $3 more. So. Three, You're three burning dollars. through that quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> I mean, I do everything right. So. <laughs> uh, good answer. I'm pretty sure you're wearing your hat the wrong way, but we'll let it go. Shocking. So is Derek. So is Derek. What do you mean the wrong? There, way? There's no free advertisement, and I don't want to advertise. Uh, right, right. Sea Isle City. That's that's just that would be improper. <laughs> <laughs> We're not a New Jersey show here. That's right. <laughs> That uh, I remember my grandfather like the first time I wore my hat backwards like to oh. his house was like that's on the wrong way mm-hmm. and I was like no yeah. <laughs> this is how everybody else is wearing it I don't understand Ooh, I got really one, cool one thing though. one thing I do wrong is colors because I'm colorblind so that's a thing uh, yeah but you knew you were doing it wrong does uh, he though sometimes I don't I'll just be like you I better, think this looks good you're very well uh, dressed for a colorblind person I usually stick to like black white and gray. Yeah. Uh, Which are all <laughs> colors. <for him>. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to do a wild color, it's going to be with like oh my black, God. white, yeah. or whatever. One of, my, bet. One of my best yeah. friends is colorblind, and we were roommates in college. And he'd come out and be like, Do I match? And I'm like, No, bud. <laughs> Not even close. I stop taking chances. He'd be like, Damn it. And then he'd just go back in and come back out. Do I match yet? <laughs> Lighting the shirts on fire and putting a new one on. <laughs> right. Well, this one's garbage. Give us one more question. Okay, one more question, and then we'll do the draft. The draft. Uh, this, we've been very open to this point. So, the best I pooped myself story. <laughs> I mean, I had uh, them growing up, but like I, I got one. You've never I'll, pooped I'll yourself on. as an adult? I'll lead on. Yeah. Oh, you're I not living in, life. I was in like high, high school. school. Shirts blue. Um, or something, uh, and we went to this wing place, pounded down a bunch of wings, and you know, uh, we were at this little place that only had like one bathroom, and so we were like waiting in line because obviously, like, all me and my friends had to shit, and I had like I thought I had to go, had had the you know that stomach feeling of like, oh man, I, I need to go. And then I had a, I farted, and I'm like, yeah, nice. That was nice. That, that relieved everything. <laughs> nice. I go I go to the bathroom, pull the pants down, and there's there's lot a lot more than a shark. Uh, yeah. And I'm like panicking at that point. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> 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 Gotta no, throw the whole thing away now. <laughs> oh, no. So I had to toss the other pits, bury them in the in the garbage can. Yeah. So there was a friend waiting to use the bathroom. Yeah. 
had to go commando. Don't ask about the underwear in the and, trash can. That, <laughs> oh. Don't don't notice that. And then uh, had to be like, yeah, I need to stop at my place first. Like, drop me off at yeah. my house real quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, it makes sense. It's way out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is logical. <laughs> no, seriously, guys, please. <laughs> I uh, I had one at work. It wasn't a full out poop yourself, but it was scary as hell. I was working up on the roof at Six Pen. I came in that day. I was pretty hungover from the night before. And every time I came in hungover, I ordered myself buffalo chicken mac and cheese <laughs> with jalapenos. Because you wanted to sweat that hangover out so sure, quick. Sure, sure. Now, I'm also working in 90-degree heat up on the roof. Mm-hmm. So around 4 o'clock, the other person shows up to kind of, like, give me my little bit of break. And I was like, nope, like, cool. I was walking around. And I felt my stomach rumbled a bit. And I thought it wasn't a poop, but it was very much so a poop. Mm. And that was the fastest I ever ran a whole set of stairs. <laughs> I don't want Greg was Scalp it? on the show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Greg Scalp cancel his comments forever. You never shit throw up the same time as the sheets. <laughs> like what? Greg <laughs> Scalp is officially banned from thoughts for the <laughs> not for the comment, for the action alone. It's kind of impressive. Do you have a, a poop story? I, I mean, I remember like in like elementary school, like doing the same. Where Derek's you, not going to admit to pooping his pants as an adult. No, I'm, I'm being He's serious. Too it's too cool. Here's what it is. I'm, I'm, I <laughs> had lactose intolerant in high school, and I know my uh, limit for everything in my bowel system. So I've been pretty that makes good. Makes sense. That makes I, sense. Yeah. Okay. I've never. Here's what I'll say. I do not take farts. Or not cautiously. Like every yeah. single time. Every I'm time like, you're like, agreed. After that incident, never again. Every single time. Yeah. That's I've learned. Bad. That was the I'm last one. I'm still pretty too. chaotic with them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a guy. I play wild and loose. <laughs> I'm like a guy that boots in a bomb, man. I, I'm. That's awesome. Okay, know. so um, I'm I I've told this story a bunch to a bunch of my friends. Um, I once pooped myself twice within a week <laughs> as an adult. Yikes. The first time, um, I was drunk and wrestling my brother in the basement of my mom's house. <laughs> and my brother, for those of you who don't know, is like 6'3 and him. has like 50 pounds on me. Okay, Large man. He's a huge dude. So I he go for <laughs> That was good. That was really good. (laughs) (laughs) So I go to deliver what I can only describe as the Alberto Del Rio (laughs) armbar, which is like a rolling armbar. Like you jump on the guy's back and roll through into an armbar. And I don't know. I really thought I could do it. (laughs) So I land flat back on the concrete, right, which is like brutal. And then Jeremiah just yells, Timber, and then full-on frog splashes me. <laughs> so I poop. <laughs> and that's where I shit myself. Right. But I, did, I didn't admit it. Okay, so I like, yeah, just I like, we gotta go! <laughs> so I'm, there. I'm, I'm driving Anastasia and Jeremiah home in the car, and it's like, January. So, like, I have my window down. (laughs) Not suspicious. They're like, why is your window down? I was like, I shit myself, okay? Really sweaty from the wrestling match. I'm sorry, it was October. (laughs) Because then then that Sunday, I'm at Spirit Halloween, right? And I'm not like, I gotta poop, but I'm like, I'm gonna need it. Spirit the club for Halloween? Uh, no. Good question. Spirit the store. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm at Spirit the store. The store, okay. and um, well, I was like, if you're out drinking, like it's right. like, yeah. way more understandable, sense. right? Oh, no. costume I'm I'm sober this time, and I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna have to poop soon, right? So I'm like walking around the store waiting for some people to show up to go to a restaurant, and like I walk up and I press one of the little things with my foot that makes the the animatronics mm-hmm. go, and I'm like, oh, and it kind of like starts to like crawl out towards me. I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then as I back up, I trigger another one. <laughs> and a hand grabs my ankle. <laughs> and I shit myself. <laughs> Wipe it with a jack skeleton. <laughs> this was like this was like full log, right? Like this is bad. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I walk over to the American Eagle, right? Oh. And I buy a new pair of underwear. 
And then I go over to the Goodwill to do yeah, the like, deed. Just pay for one dollar. Like, just need one. Just need one. <laughs> just <laughs> one, please. One. And so I switch my underwear in the Goodwill bathroom. Do you throw it away? I I put the poop in the toilet <laughs> <laughs> and then threw away All right, the underwear. Down. That right. I did not. I can't deal with Josh. I know. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, the draft. Okay, so we're going to pick five characters from video games that you want to go into war with. However, they have to be original video game IP. So it can't be James Bond, Goldeneye. It can't be Spider-Man versus, you know, whatever. So it has to be only a video game. And now, like, so we were talking earlier, the video game can have progressed past video games. The Witcher. Right. The you Witcher. Said it can? It can. Okay, but it has to initially be. Yes. Correct. Cool. Correct. Okay. So um, let's just, just to mess with the order, what do you think? Well, I was going to say just do Fish Nico. Okay, cool. Because we've always gone. Yeah, the other way. Yeah. Right. And as much as I'd love the first round pick to win this already, <laughs> let's do Fish through. Fish, you're first. Yeah, you'd be uh, you'd be a fool not to. You'd have to go home, I think. <laughs> yeah. As I mentioned, yeah, you'd have to yeah. go home. Wait, don't write it yet. He didn't say it. Oh. <laughs> we, we talked about it in the car. I'm oh, sorry. you son of a... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're Surprise. all thinking uh, it. Right. Master Chief <laughs> yes, from the Halo series, the single greatest uh, American. Uh, is he better than Captain America? Yeah. Is he That's America's or? ass. Well, I think Master is, Chief is, is Master Chief American or is he just Earth? USMC. Oh, true. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now it's United Spartans Marine Corps, right? No. Is it United States Marine Corps? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I that's the real thing. Spartans. Wait, no. There's that's a, what there's I'm going with. <laughs> Whatever. He speaks. No, he's fluent he's American. <laughs> he speaks fluent English. Like sweet baby Jesus, he's American. <laughs> <laughs> Little Annie. <Andy. laughs> <laughs> Little Annie. <Andy. laughs> Little Annie. <Andy. laughs> and I'm hammered drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right. All right. Nico. Marcus Phoenix, oh, Gears of War. Right. There it is, there it is. I know that's not even... F-E-N-I-X. There we go. Uh, Josh has a condition. Guys, I want to take a serious moment. Guys, you know we did uh, a oh. shout-out to my Venmo for the Australian push bar. I'd also like to donate <laughs> money to Josh's second-grade English reading course. I told... Uh, <laughs> he can't spell words. He spelled my name right. I texted he him this morning. I... <laughs> 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 I told Bo today it's like trying to get a bl- uh, colorblind person to see color. I mean, yeah. that's really how bad it Fish, is. Uh, how which, bad do you take offense to that? I don't, since <laughs> apparently he's also going through an issue. So. Yeah, he's going through a lot of <laughs> issues, yeah. So I feel him. Uh, I think I'm going to take the warrior of time, Link. Mm. Nice. Or the hero of time, excuse me. So I get two. Yep, right you got two. Samus. Ah, uh, that's a good one. Samus? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I... I want to go snake. Solid, Solid snake? snake? Liquid snake? Solid snake. Solid snake, okay. <laughs> because that was... Are they all the same I person? Had, um, they're clones of the same person. Yeah, Solid uh, snake's clones. Okay. Solid snake's the original, but then, like, <laughs> each one has, like, individual powers. I mean, okay. Samus, the, I mean, super robot chick. Mm-hmm. Solid snake. I remember playing that game with so much anxiety because you're hiding under, like, a cabinet and there's people walking <laughs> by. <laughs> yeah, and that game was... Oh, God, I hated that game. But, too badass. Okay, uh, Solid Snake was definitely on my draft list. Let's see here. Um, I Josh think – I know. I can't help it at this point. I have to look. I'm just making eye contact. I'm not even looking at it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right so I th- <laughs> <laughs> I'm game planning. I have switched two of my answers. <laughs> so I think it will be important <laughs> headed into war to have somebody with strategy, somebody with tech skills – Somebody that can be everywhere at once. Cortana. Corn. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't know if that's spelled right, but... It is. Like Sweet. So. I'm killing the video game spelling today. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> the only one you've gotten right. Right. I like it. Nico. Cortana's a great pick. I yeah. I would say, because uh, even the cartographer and all that situation where she had oh, yeah. information. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, like... If you do go into space battle, I don't know if that's part of this war that we're talking about, she can just drive your whole ship. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's a good thing. I, I would like to think to say, about that. Is, yeah. Is it? Are you going to make Link wear an earpiece? I don't think Link I mean, and Cortana necessarily get along because, like, he ignores that fairy thing all the time. But he also doesn't talk that much. Kind of like Master Chief. <clears throat> True. Mm, I would at least say though, Master Chief can listen to her at all times. Well, I'm I just mean, curious. I'm just curious. It, I, no, I think the real question is: Is Cortana <laughs> and the fairy gonna get along? 
Uh, I didn't take the ferry. <laughs> <laughs> I took Link. <laughs> Just, just wait at home for it. If it helps, I'll take uh, Link from Majora's Mask instead. That way, it's not, it's not even a question. Yeah, Nico, Captain Price from Call of Duty. A human. (laughs) Two humans. You have two. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. everything but Cortana. He's looking pretty human. (laughs) Link ain't a human. Nope, he's He's an elf. elf. (laughs) Okay, he's an elf. Uh, Humanoid. You sorry. Two, by the way. I got two. For my first, I'm gonna go with a uh, classic Duke Nukem. Oh, he was uh, on mine. <laughs> he knows. He saw. Him. I didn't. I actually no, didn't no, see that's that. That's a great pick. Was it? I know it's spelled right. It's Nukem. Oh yeah. yeah. See, I did not Pretty see. Good. That was Chipper's like favorite game. Mm. It was a oh, it was a great game. Oh, I'm just, I, I gotta go classic, you know. Uh, and then I'm gonna go. With Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat, mm. good pick. Let's get let's make things icy. Man, you guys are just yeah, it's all I, because of Master Chief, like that. Yeah, I mean that that was that was what we were saying on the Blessed way over. With the first pick. Uh, <laughs> Greg Skill puts the little. Cool. Oh, great freaking answer! There it is. Yeah, Duke Nukem. Okay, uh, Nico, you're back up. Doom guy. That's literally his name. Is he from the game Doom? Yes. He is, yeah. He can hold 20 different weapons. Oh. Where Master oh, Chief can only hold like two. <laughs> two weapons. <laughs> I think, uh. Whatever. I think for my next pick, this is who I'd pair Cortana with is Mega Man. I had that too. I think that's, that's a, a that's answer. a hell of a pairing. Uh-huh. And, uh, probably. He already <laughs> probably has the link up. Excuse me. Well, he's definitely. He may need, like, some upgrade in the software. <laughs> He's been around for a while. <laughs> He's running Windows 8 over there. He's going to figure it out. Buffering. Yeah. <laughs> so I have a powerful gun gun person. Okay. A sneaky, sneaky, sneak person. Oh, sneaky, sneak. I need speed and power. Yeah. Speed, Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. I mean, yeah, the fastest video game character of all time, I'm pretty sure. Because the Flash is in movies. So you can't hit count. what you can't yeah, see. Sure, yeah, sure. And Sonic. Love it. Uh, and for power... I know that this has been discussed for you. I'm going Mewtwo um, nice. for the simple fact so that psychic. it's Mewtwo and Mewtwo. T-O-O or T-W-O? Two. T-W-O. Oh, that's okay. okay. <clears throat> Mew also. Uh, Mewtwo is, I mean, the most powerful Pokemon that has been in. I, I mean, you could go on the 17th period. Yeah, series. yeah, absolutely. Um, man. So I got one swordsman, and I guess I'm just going to keep sticking with the swordsman. This was my backup. But Alucard from Castlevania, uh, that guy, like... Pennsylvania? <laughs> <laughs> that, guy, that guy killed Dracula, so that's pretty, uh, that's good that's move, pretty good awesome. Move. That was very much so. Easy there, internet explorer. <laughs> <laughs> Nico, you're back up. Um, I don't know if anybody's played the Mass Effect games, but I'm picking Grunt. He's a Krogan warrior, bred strictly just for warfare. That sounds like somebody you would want on your on he's, your squad. He sounds exactly up this alley. He's yes. a mean guy. <laughs> he's not a nice <laughs> fellow. He's not nice at all. He doesn't care. No. Fish. Uh, so this last is, two. Last two. The this is a shout out to my brother, Sam Fisher. Sam Fisher hey, is actually you. a video game character. Oh. Sam Fisher is really. For what? From, um, uh, not Ghost Recon, it's... It's, uh, Modern Warfare, is it? It's F-I-S-H, though, yeah. I think, uh, let me see what it is. Wait, it's F-Y... Sam... S-H-E-R, is that what you just said? From F-I-S-H-E-R. Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell, that's it, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Splinter Cell. Mm. Yeah. And okay. then, uh, my last pick that's is... That's cool. F-I-S-H-E-R, yeah. My, probably my favorite game growing <laughs> up, uh, General Chaos. Oh, what's that from? That's, that's the name of the game and the name of the general. Oh, well. okay. I okay. was gonna say I think that's also yeah. Butter's character. <laughs> <laughs> but it's literally a Professor Sega game. game. Professor yeah. game. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I was Same like, game. yeah, wait a minute. They Same really game. just copied off of that. No. Yeah. <laughs> South Park isn't necessarily original. That's yeah, very just true. topical. <laughs> Sergeant Avery Johnson from Halo as well. He actually went through the Spartan One program. Mm-hmm. 
I like what you did there, Josh. Don't spell the word. Yeah, no way. <laughs> no way. Uh, that's not the guy who shows up in Halo 2, is it? He's who's in like, all of them, I'm pretty sure. Who's like, yeah. He's in regular human, if that's what you're asking. Right, and he's got like the cigar, and he's always yeah, yelling yeah. at people. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. All right, cool. So, Fish, I'm going to pull out my last pick, which we talked about in the car, would be unconventional, and it might drop a bomb on everyone. Lame. I'm excited. I'm going with the hand oh, from yeah. Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> what is his powers? We don't really know. Poking. Like, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> and flicking. At least he didn't go with the crazy left hand. No, yeah, no. <laughs> you can't <laughs> control that. Strong. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I went, I went with the with the hand. Okay. Um, I just feel like that's fair. An uh, a, a decapitated. Well, I don't even know what decapitated hand that you can float around and pick people up and throw them across a map so probably is pretty really useful. So, yeah, I enjoy that a lot. Yeah. All right, Derek. There's a lot of really good picks, and I'm trying to think of a dude, but I'm gonna go with someone that's a little undersized, a little underdog, a little, uh, nobody thought he could do it, but he did it, and that Pikachu. is Spyro the Dragon, oh, uh, yeah. nobody really appreciated him, fire. give me that fire, it's like a fire psychic, <laughs> speed, big big gun, sneaky sneak, sneaky, I like my team. Sneaky sneak. Alright, so there's your lists. Drafts. Drafts, right <laughs> Uh, Derek has Samu, Solid Snake, Sonic, Mewtwo, and Spyro the Dragon. There's only one human on yours. Snake and Samus. Samus. She's, she's a, a human. She's a chick. Is she a human? In a robot yeah. Body, yeah. Okay, so I wasn't sure. I knew she was a girl, but I didn't know if she was a uh, Oh, girls human. aren't human? <laughs> oh! Oh, goodness! Wow. Yeah, exactly. Hot day, hot day, exactly. Hot day, hot day. I just keep <laughs> freaking them walking into it like it's terrible. <laughs> Uh, I have Link, Cortana, oh Mega Man, um, Alucard, and the Hand you from don't Super even Smash have a Brothers. Human, do you? No. Okay. Mega Man, Alucard is, I would say is a human. Cyborg, Cyborg still half man. Half man, yeah. Well, cool yeah. And Alucard is half vampire, half oh, okay, human. Fair. So. Okay, yeah. Um, Nico has. What's Mar the Hand? Uh, from Super, Super Smash, Smash Brothers. Brothers. No, you, you were saying what everyone was. It was. It was like banter. My He's, bad. I'm yeah. sorry. Entity. Just enough with he's, the banter. He's a hand. He's a hand. Just he's stop hand. smashing he's me. I know Boyd's not here to pick on, he's and you hand. like these two, but leave me alone. <laughs> 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 you better settle down, or I'm gonna come over there and talk to you. You, you don't want to let that one. He marinate. might give you the hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me make sure you spelled everything right. Who knows? Master Chef. Master Chef. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> That's who I was gonna pick. That says chief, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it, chief. Yes. All right, good, good, good. Um, Shut up, Dad. Fish went, Jesus. Okay, Shut Nico up. has Shut Marcus. Fish and chip. <laughs> Nico has Marcus Phoenix, Captain Price, With the toad. Doom Guy, Grunt, and Sergeant Avery Johnson. And Fish has Master Chief, Duke Nukem, Sub Zero, Sam Fisher. <laughs> and, uh, General Chaos. I bet your team could outdrink the rest of our team. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> That's usually what I base most things Duke on. Duke Nukem alone, yeah. 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 Duke Nukem alone. Duke Nukem's just got a bottle of Jack and one yep. holster just <laughs> taking swings <laughs> mid-battle. That's awesome. That's good. All right. Well, that was the idiot hour. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there it was. What? Thanks there for hanging there out. There you go. <laughs> That's it. All right. Well, we only have two minutes left, so yeah, no, it's we fabulous. did good. Thank you for everyone that tuned in yeah, tonight. Yeah, banter. Um, <laughs> there was banter. One, ask us one more question. One more question? There's, there's two minutes left. This doesn't happen. Right. Quick answer. Oh, oh, I don't even have it up. Hang on. Hang on. See, you can't just spring shit on me like this. I mean, I'll ask yeah, a question. That. There All was right. general chaos and general havoc. You were general chaos, and you... Uh, had an them. army of people that you fought. Uh, okay. All right, hang on. We got, he kind of looks like Duke Nukem. Last question. We got, we got into uh, a pretty steady Harry Potter th uh, thread today. So should Hermione have ended up with Ron or Harry? Ron, because that's the way it was, and that's how movies are meant to be watched. But it's, well, it's a book, but... Well, it's a movie. So that's awkward. And a book. I'm glad uh, she ended up wait, with Ron. It was a book? I don't read, so... <laughs> I can't. There's also <laughs> video games. <laughs> really? Yeah. And Lego sets. What is, what is World Cup? No, it had to be Ron. He, Just, he needed all the help he could get in life. 
<laughs> so we married up. <laughs> I understand that. I, now I now I agree. <laughs> she was obviously meant for Neville Longbottom, but uh, oh. turned into a bit of a dreamboat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Big glow up, up on Neville. <laughs> I don't get how she left the Bulgarian dude. He's oh, good it was like a seeker. Victor yeah. Crumb. I like Victor Crumb. Um, like, hear me out. Like, that's why I changed my answer. On a <laughs> national championship, like international winning. Yeah. Quidditch. He is the best. Yeah. He's and kind she, of a dick. Ron was a keeper for a season. And that's <laughs> good. <laughs> she had, to, and she knows he's not good because she's the one that helped him. Why was he a dick? Wasn't he? No. He no, was not at all. No, Ron. Was, so no, Crumb. Oh no, he was Crumb, like, Crumb was a sweetheart. Okay. Yeah. So like his thing that. was that people were scared Just to talk to him. Intimidating guy. He was very intimidating. But even when it came down to saving people on the water challenge, like he didn't save the people, but he helped Harry when he was getting surrounded by shooting well, with, a spell and yeah, stuff okay. like that. Like there are, like he's intimidating. Yeah, and everyone hates him because he's talking to Hermione. They just don't Ron like him because well, of sports. Yeah. Yeah. And, and totally Ron fine. gives <laughs> off more of the forty-year-old virgin. Thank you. Vibe yes. Than, than <laughs> Sarah than. says Crumb stared at her while <laughs> while she studied like a creep. Um, I'm just gonna hold my comment. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, I, I like I'll this. Get up, I'll get if, if we're going, if we're going over, uh, we might as well go over it. Rick, what was the last time you remember? Is what Greg Skelt is asking. What is the last time you remember? Yeah, that's deep. <laughs> Are you okay? Hold on. I remember recording two beers deep with Greg, which drops on Tuesday mornings. It is a podcast on Spotify. Speaking of Victor Crumb. Um. <laughs> Does he mean like the About earliest? Like our thing? earliest memory? Our earliest memory or the sure. last thing I remember? Or our memories of Hermione and Victor Crumb. Oh, oh the last thing we remember <laughs> about Hermione and Victor Crumb. Uh, they, they stayed pen pals. She they still, did. They wrote to that's each right, other. That's yeah. right. That's Great right. Great question, Greg Scalp. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't uh, Victor Crumb show up at the Battle of uh, Hogwarts at yes. the end? That's what in I thought. In the books, not in the movie. Yeah, not in the movie, but in the books he shows up. Their school does. Right. Because he's awesome. Great question, Greg Scalp. So at the end of the day, it wasn't Ron or Harry. It was Crumb that she should have been with. <laughs> That's the way the cookie yes. crumbles. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is how fish enters the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Are you done? <laughs> I, uh, I, I don't care. Let's you, do one more one question. More. All right, one more question. Not about Harry Potter. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Greg Scalp says just answer the question. We answered Greg Scalp. <laughs> We thought about Victor Crumb. The crust is not the cheese. <laughs> Victor Crumb was our most uh, recent, or our, our last. Yeah, 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 wow, yeah. Right. Okay, here, this one's kind of along along his lines. What is your early earliest internet memories? Um, run, run, Bob, home square. Uh, run, run, oh run, gosh, run, what run, homestar one oh dot com. <laughs> homestar one No. Homestar one No, you don't know homestar. You you, know, you took <laughs> mine because mine was. Wrong man. Wrong man. Wrong door. Wrong door on Guitar Hero. I got it. I say, you know what we're talking about? Yeah, FreeOnlineGames.com. Like, the first website I remember. And it was this guy that was just shit. It was just a boom, boom. That was it. With legs. And he was the homestyle10.com. And it was just a bunch of like InDesign the cheat. gift clips and stuff. And <laughs> strong man wrote his email. And like stuff yeah. like that. And like I got it was an the email. first thing I it's ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, well, the Trog Tour bit being yeah. the most uh, iconic, mm-hmm. and the uh, uh, when Strong Sad goes, I think I, I, <laughs> I think I improved on your techniques a little bit, and then he lights it on fire yeah. and he goes, Trog Tour strikes again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could do, I could do that. I'm, uh, Teen Girl Squad, is yeah, also from oh, Homestar good. Runner, Coach Z. Like, Teen Girl Squad. Yeah, I'm, I'm lost on that one. Like, Sound of Silence. Finding videos on E Bombs uh, World. E Bombs yeah. World. Yeah. E Bombs World. Yeah. I remember this game, speaking of, of games in our early internet days. Cat Kitten. It was this like Cat Cannon. terrible Cat Cannon. animation game where you basically, like, uh, you went to a strip club, you did drugs, you took a stripper back to a. Were you hotel. just playing? What was the name of this game? Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no. This is, this it was is real life. He was eight. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> This actually happened. <laughs> it's just but, super pixelated because he's colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean it is kind of like Grand Theft Auto esque, but it like very poorly done. Wow. Very like you know so internet boobs, not like 
That was the Bane part of it. It's like you saw boobs. Low polygon count. W-B-S. Boobs. 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 Greg Skelp says the whole Unforgivable series. Oh, wow. Unforgivable. Waffle fries for free. I think, I don't know how early this was, but we definitely loved the bear blasting. What was that? I don't know if I How late are we going today? No, I don't care. I can be I done pee. whenever. Oh, right, yeah. so let's. You guys keep talking. Do you okay. remember a salad fingers? Yeah, a salad finger. Oh, no. Old Greg. Old Greg. There was definitely a golden age of the internet. Where yeah. Like, the pre pre bad stuff, pre social yeah. media, pre yeah, all that kind of stuff. Where maybe they were MySpace, Angel Fire websites. Um, <laughs> Antonio Brown enters the chat. Oh Jesus. <laughs> um, <laughs> what was what was the name of this thing? It was like an energy drink, but it was a fake commercial. Oh, yeah, there was a couple of them, but there was the 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 one where it's like Thir- bear blasting, uh, cat thing, cat something humping. thirst, Th- power thirst, power. That thirst. was it. Power yes. thirst was power thirst. Power thirst was definitely one of the best. Uh, that was good. Anastasia wants to know what cover song is better than the original. It's tough. Not really, but it's 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 my my immediate go to is the punk goes pop cover of Toxic, Britney Toxic. Spears. That one's just who sang that? I can't remember. I know, but that's so much better. Uh, there's the um, there's a couple good ones. It's on that debatable, album. but it's the first one that comes to mind, like the uh, Alien Ant Farm version of the one Michael Jackson song. Like, uh, it's, yeah, wait, I mean it is. It's like you're right. Someone, absolutely right. Uh, somewhat, not the exact same song. There was definitely our generation definitely did not know that that was a Michael Jackson exactly, song. Exactly. Yeah, we were like, oh, like, Alien Ant yeah. Farm's got this cool new song, and our parents are like, you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they only cover one ever the band. Okay, cool. Um, I think another, and this 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 might be a cop out, and this is definitely one I want to do as a draft is uh, Weird Al's Gangster Paradise. Is, oh, amazing. Is, is a better song uh, than yeah. Gangster Paradise. A lot Paradise, of Weird Al songs Amish are Paradise. probably or like introduced. Kids right. The actual song. Oh, Johnny Cash is hurt. Eric, yeah, absolutely was was better than the original. Gypsy's Tiger Jaw. I, I have one that's okay. controversial. Hot take. Yikes. Don't at me. Oh, voice okay. Avenue doing Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. I don't know Tracy it. Chapman's voice. Okay. I, I love the song. But Voice Avenue. They're, they're good at a lot of the cover. covers. Yeah, yeah, they were like the cover. I do band. agree that almost any cover oh, of that song is better than the They're original. the cover band on YouTube. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yes. they do a really they nice job. Everything. Uh, I was obsessed with them, and then a thing called Time Flies Tuesday. I don't mm-hmm. know if you guys ever saw that in college or anything. It was these guys, and it was one guy that made beats, and they made beat out of a Natty 30 rack, and the other guy would freestyle. And they would pick things out of hats and freestyle, and they did a bunch of covers. It was really good. They did a Call Me Maybe cover. It was good. But Tracy Chapman, fast cover, voice app. Okay, okay, yeah. I like it. There's a band, Bad Wolves, and he's been thrown around a couple a times. They covered Zombie. Really good. Uh, you know what? Uh, what did uh, Rob Zombie just covered a song? Oh, Helter Skelter with. Uh, really? Rob Zombie covered it with somebody, too. Shit. This is going to drive me up a wall. Hang on a <laughs> second. That reminded me of something. Oh, did you see. Um, who was the cartoon character that did Red Boat? Carl Weezer? Carl um, Weezer from Jimmy Oh, Neutron. yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They did a cover of Red Boat. <laughs> Which, another great one. I did not uh, see that. That's uh, hilarious. Into You, That's Childish really Gambino funny. doing uh, Tamiko's song. It's on YouTube. It was some yeah. British beat switch. Childish Gambino is the greatest. He's amazing. Everything. See, I, I love Childish Gambino, but Childish Gambino's had a fucked up life. Tom Hanks, no fucked up life. <laughs> not <laughs> Perfect. Fair. Big right. one. Uh, the Helter Skelter cover is with Rob Zombie and Marilyn Manson, and it slaps. It's really okay. good. Yeah. I don't enjoy his music, but I have an absurd appreciation for Rob Zombie. Absolutely. And it's because of Austin Moorhead. All the directing he did. Oh, Jesus. I I mean. (laughs) Oh, no. Yeah. Had to bring him into it. (laughs) I get paid $5 every time. Austin Moorhead, Austin Moorhead, Austin Moorhead, Austin Moorhead, Austin Moorhead. (laughs) So, quick. So, now you can pay $15 on your credit card bill. (laughs) Yeah. I can pay a little more than the interest. There we go. All right, uh, we good? Would you guys rather pay fifteen dollars for something or thirteen dollars with two dollars shipping? Don't Amazon Prime me. 
Would you does it come tomorrow? When, yeah, does when does it come? It come? <laughs> when does it? I'd rather. Is it every night? It comes at the same time. Just I'd, which I'd rather, rather pay fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Yeah, not thirteen with two dollars shipping. No. Uh, do we? Wh- where's the two dollars shipping going? Who who gets that? Exactly. How, it's how not much, the driver. How much care the can they be taking if you're not paying right? them to deliver? What did you say? How much care can they be taking if you're not paying them to deliver? Well, it's not going it's in there. Probably worked in the price. If you could be a duck, what kind of duck would you be? Mallard. There's only one kind of Marcus duck. Marcus Mariota. Really? Wow. <laughs> I guess Marcus Mariota is a bad answer. <laughs> yeah. Terrible is that a answer. Player? He's a human. <laughs> I'll take a look at Blunt. Oregon Duck. Yeah. That's a hockey player? Football. Okay, cool. Jesus. <laughs> Marcus Mariota does sound like there's a Canadian reason. hockey player, yeah, though. I'll give him that one. I mean, no, there's oh. mallards, and then there's the white ducks. Mallards are green, right? There are several different duck species. Okay, yeah. <laughs> one moment. <laughs> Just go <laughs> <through. Just laughs> through. Listen, there's one duck. All right, let's, <laughs> let's rank duck species once this comes up. How do you spell species? <laughs> he capitalized duck. They can't see element. that. They can't see that. <laughs> see, mallard, domestic, domestic duck. Domestic, mallard? back, marble duck, I'll be obvio. Belly button, white whistler, face duck. White face white whistler, 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 lesser whistler, wandering whistler, whistler. It's just whistler. the mallard's the only duck you really see around here. The, f- the fulvalus duck looks pretty. Which one uh, did I mess pretty up? Pretty cool right there. The alba ba ba. That yes. Yeah, yeah whatever Alabama. this one is. Alabio. Alabadidido. Alabadidido. Oh, holy diver by kill switch is really good too. Yeah, that's a good answer. That's really good. Sid's in his feelings. All right, one more. Last question. Forever. Okay. Okay. Forever. Forever. Uh, forever. 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 If Michael Scott were to run for president, what would his campaign slogan be? Ooh. This one's a thinker. Vote Michael Scott. Some people still know how to be presidential candidates for the people and make the people happy. <laughs> Fun run. It yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was the episode where um, they they sent all the paper out with the mouse having sex with the duck. Oh yeah. And he says, Dunder Mifflin. Some yeah. companies still know how to do business no matter what. Yeah. And he had like this really long. <laughs> but it's also the, the the fun run had a huge name. I feel like it would either be something quick witty, something stolen, or something huge. So I went with the huge run. I definitely be something parkour. Like Parkour. <laughs> Parkour. It's not bad. I do like that it would be something bad. stolen. Yeah. That's, yeah. That'd be good. You missed every shot you don't take. Yeah, it would be hope. Quote Wayne Gretzky. Quote Michael Scott. Hope. He doesn't understand how inappropriate it is that he has hope. <laughs> Fish. Um, we'll make America big. That's what she said. <laughs> 20, 20. I would assume that really good I would assume Dwight is running his campaign for him. <coughs> Dwight Wright. Dwight Wright. No, get that out of your yeah. head. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like you would you would imagine that like Dwight's actually the, the puppet master pulling the strings. I don't know. I'm interested because Threat Level Midnight was the cinematic adventure I needed in twenty nineteen to get through the year. True. <laughs> you know what I mean? True. Great film. But Should if be Dwight was taking it, which is the most likely answer. So if Dwight is... I don't think he'd be running it. I think it would kind of be the same. He would be like... Vi- it would be like... How, how it would, would be like to the president. <laughs> yeah. Vice president to, to the, the president. <laughs> it, it would be very Dick Cheney, George Bush yes. Jr. Yes. 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 <laughs> That's really the, the relationship they would have. Um, it would just be Michael Scott is the president. Oh, happy birthday. It is your birthday. It is your yeah. birthday, but also it, he would think that, like, psychologically, that if he yeah. just says he's the president, people will think he's the president. Because he also tells people, like, give it to me. Give it to me now. Give it do to it. me yeah. right now. Do yeah. it. Say yes. Do it. Do Say yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. so, like, I could imagine. If he was smart, he would have uh, Dwight do all the speeches, too. One of my favorite <laughs> It and episodes is oh, yeah. doing the yeah, yeah. <laughs> reading he's reading who's <laughs> reading he speaks wow. really well it's Britney bitch but it's a great like answer. it's Britney bitch is a good answer <laughs> yeah and that's do what you she's feel saying. the power of salesmen in northwestern Pennsylvania <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's amazing all right kids yeah one more. let's get oh one more all right <laughs> see how quick you got to go to the bathroom <laughs> I know I said you got to you can go it's my show You're it's the last question all right. 
or else he goes right. to start peeing. All right, last one. Make it a good one. What is this one? This one's more aimed at, at you than anyone, Derek. Okay. Derek. <laughs> what phrase did you start saying ironically that stuck? <laughs> I feel like this is like Timbo 101. Yeah. Like everything he says, I'm like, shit. Uh, but dead ass. Dead ass. Like I, Mac makes fun of me a lot because of my vlogs and constant ass. being on camera and stuff. I will say a phrase that week and then ride it. I started, I said it once like as a joke. I was like, yeah, and they're like, you serious? I said dead ass. I have not stopped saying it. It is bad. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> <laughs> I keep going, yeah, dead ass. And everyone's like, there it is. I'm like, fuck. Like, I need <laughs> an intervention. Tough. So, uh, <clears throat> initially, when I moved to Pittsburgh, I did not have any form of a Yinzer accent. Uh, but everybody I met, and now I just say, uh, downtown. Where are you going? I'm heading downtown. Well, I get just imagine working, too, like, now. in a bar downtown. Exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, you know that's all you I hear. Sure. Yeah. I get so lazy. And I noticed that, like, I'll say I'll tune well, up. I would walk up. around when I first started at Six Pen. I'd walk around and be like, oh, you're going downtown, huh? Just making fun of people. And it just... I said it one too many times. Wow. God was like, stop making fun of people. Yeah. 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 Enjoy your new dialect. <laughs> <laughs> you sound dumber than a cockney person. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, my gosh. Fish. Good, though. Sure. I would say, oh, man. I guess using a phrase like per se, I feel like I, I – I, uh, would sarcastically use that Absolutely. Yeah, all yeah, the time, up, and then it's now it's <laughs> now my go-to is per se. Dude, I, I do that with a uh, um, what's the one? There's something like per se. Oh, I say verbatim. I'll go verbatim, and I'm you like, do do that a lot. Son of a bitch. You do do that a <laughs> lot. Yeah, and, if not, and you can, and you use it in, in scenarios where it might not apply. At all. No, no, not at all. No, just no. like I could eat some fries right now. Per se. They're like, what do you want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to eat? Verbatim. <laughs> per se. So do you want fries or no? Yeah, I can say something per se. It's like per, per like what do you what? want? What? <laughs> like you have fun tonight? I had fun per se. Per se. <laughs> If you will, that's yeah. another. Word. I do that a lot too. I'll I'll pick up a word and then I'll just burn it out. Ugh. Uh. One that was was uh, Paul Staggerwald always used to say fortuitous bounce. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I would just start like making fun of him, like, oh, it's a fortuitous internet, and then like found myself yeah. saying it. I was yep. like, oh shit! You can't Josh stop. stands up. This was a fortuitous episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that and I think the ultimate one is uh, Mike Nicolazzo would say metal at oh, uh, awesome so films metal. all the time, mm -hmm. yeah, and it was a joke. <laughs> But then we all just started saying it. And then really? right as we all picked it up, he dropped it like a bad habit. It was incredible, oh, no. the mastery. <laughs> right, no, yeah, I think no. fire and slaps and smacks can die. Slaps? Literally. I just shit learned slaps. slaps. Like, I kind of like a couple of months shit ago. Shit bang, shit smacks, shit slaps. Bangs has been around for a while. Yeah, but Bangers. it just started like yeah. – Because bangers, yeah, that was the big – But it like just started. It's like calling something the bomb. Yeah, I can't say that now. I say the bomb.com. He'll get the cops called. <laughs> <laughs> the bomb.com. This man has a website for bombs. Uh, <laughs> shut it down. Shut it down. I uh, think uh, on. another one ah. that I want to, to take over and be a real thing, especially yeah. for thoughts from the bench, is trash ass statement. You yeah. scream that at Greg, and I adopted it, it immediately. It was I was trash. like, yes. That's the phrase. If something's really bad, it's a trash ass trash statement. Trash ass statement. That's yeah, a trash was, ass statement. You can really get into yeah. that. That's like a good. You could. I saw that's it. That's your happen. opening statement. It's well, a trash and, and ass statement. So like it could be thing, casual or aggressive. What, the Either thing way. The about it is like, the, it. So you normally when you're debating someone, they they always get so angry that they start off with their best point. Right. And if you instantly go, that is such a trash <laughs> statement. Yep. Like why they, would you start with that? They go. Oh no! Immediate espionage. My like, gun is empty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My gun was never loaded. Is how you feel. Like, hey. But you if you go to like literally, I'll, I'll fight with people about like something like Kirk Cousins versus Ryan Tannehill this weekend. People are, I'm like, dude, Ryan he threw for 77 yards. Like that's a trash ass statement, and they won't text me back. 
and I get it. You made them cry. I get it. <laughs> but also, if you take away the power of their number one answer, you feel pretty good after. Yeah. I also hate happy people. <laughs> Shock and awe effect. <laughs> You're a trash ass person. <laughs> I don't want to do this show anymore. All right. <laughs> That's fine. This is great. All I'll right. take it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for tuning in to the wonderful, wonderful Idiot Hour. Nico, thank you for joining. Of course. Thank you for having me. Fish, thank you for joining. Hell yeah. Josh, thank you for doing all the work. <laughs> <laughs> We're just here. Thanks for your poop stories. <laughs> this is the first show I get to just be the talent on, and it's very exciting. Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's super fun. I'm still waiting for that show. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're up. Ugh! <laughs>